Hello friends, George here. Welcome to my small channel. Today we look at Ace Air Combat Emulator. It's the game which we are going to load and play today. It's a 64K game for the Commodore Plus 4 and released in 1986 by Cascade Games. Let me begin with a question first. Do you know the difference between an emulator and a simulator? Yes? No? I will give the answer at the end of the video. Look at this artwork. Beautiful. Let's take the cassette out. There is no manual inside the shell. So, Commodore Special 64K version for the Plus 4. Side 1 has the version with a fast loader and side B has a version with no fast loader which takes a, about 30 minutes. We will load of course the fast loader version. And here is our manual. You need a microscope to read this but we will try. This checkerboard here is very important for playing the game. I will explain later. Beautiful artwork on the front, some nice screenshots of the game. Actually, a friendly gentleman at Facebook wrote me that his father used to take screenshots for the game companies in England at that time. And he told me that he did that with a camera from the screen. So let's put everything back together. As I said before, we will load the fast loader version from side A, which takes about 3 minutes. And this time I have something special for the fans of my wireframe renderings. I will show a new rendering of an airplane this time, during loading. Here the wonderful artwork of Ace again. And let's load the game on a real machine. We load cassette games with a data set, like this here for the Commodore 16 or Plus 4. And in the old days, we used this device here, a pen, for rewinding the tape to the beginning, sometimes. Here is our good old friend, the Commodore Plus 4. We will type load, press enter and press play on the tape device. Ace was released by Cascade Games in 1986. Main programmer was Ian Martin. Initially the game started as a simple VIC-20 and Commodore 16 game. Later they made a version for the Commodore 64. A plus 4 version had to be made in 1986 because of a mistake in the advertisement. The ads promised that there was a fully functional plus 4 version too. There were also a version for the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC. Also a successor Ace 2 was made. Cascade folded in 1990.
Welcome back to the main title of ACE. Now we have to choose our mission. You have four options. Multi-role, air superiority, ground attack and naval attack. And here is our copy protection, which works like this. We have to look at our color grid of the cassette box and enter the color at the square P1. So let us take a look. Square P1 is blue. I will take off the airplane and leave you with some first impressions of the game until I make a first shot. So, our first hit with a rocket. You can see I have some troubles maneuvering here. But overall, for a Commodore Plus 4, this is a really advanced game. The game is programmed in character screen mode to gain more speed. Our first crash, which is a good opportunity to uh, look at the rest of the menu. can save a happy high score if you want. So you can choose your skill level between 1 and 9. 1 is training, 9 is hardest. You can play the game with two uh, players if you want. Um, then you have a demo mode which I'm showing here. Full in action. So, so let's uh, play an, another game. First challenge again: the take off. Thrust up to 150 and put up the undercarriage at the right time. I 
I didn't. I flew too fast. So next try. I take off. And let's look uh, at the map and try to engage some enemies. Let's enjoy a little the beautiful character screen landscape. It also has screens and hills. Here we found our first target. Missed it. So let's try next to refuel the aircraft. We have to engage the refuel tanker at a certain position. I will do a time lapse here. We have to meet the aircraft at a certain altitude and with a certain velocity. Let's see if I can do it. Oh no, that's embarrassing. I collided with a fuel tanker. So, I think you got the idea about the game. And we will stop it here. Let's type in our name and date, maybe. So, at the beginning of this video, I asked a question. What is the difference between an emulator and a simulator? And do you know the answer? Well, an emulator mimics the behavior of a flying plane, while a simulator tries to replicate every aspect of a flying plane. So what's the difference? Let's uh, take an example. Apollo 11, they trained on a simulator. So the simulator simulated every aspect of the Apollo mission so that they could land the vehicle on the moon. With enough hours on a simulator the Apollo astronauts were able to fly to the moon. If they have trained on an emulator which emulates only the behavior of a plane they could have done as many hours as they wanted they have never got to the moon and back. So, 
So a simulator tries to come as close as possible to the real deal while an emulator only pretends to be the real deal. So friends, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If so, click the like button, subscribe if you want. If you don't like the video, click the dislike button, click it twice to be sure. For the vector graphics fans, I will repeat the demo at the end of this video. I wish you a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.